Hello everyone, this video is a bit of a departure from my normal content, so because of that, I want you to let me know what you think of this in the comments below, if you hated it, if you loved it, what you think I could do better, if you think I should never do something like this again, please let me know. So anyway, this is a bunch of stuff I got for free on Craigslist. The story, it's like seven towers, some of the stuff isn't here anymore, we actually had two Xbox 360s, a couple monitors, actually three monitors, um, keyboards, mice, there's seven towers total, and the story goes, so me and some of my other computer friends were kind of out and about, um, looking for something to do, we, like, went to Micro Center, we went to Target, and then when we were on our way to get food, um, one of my friends showed up, showed us on Craigslist that, like, posted 30 minutes ago was a guy who had, like, a whole bunch of computer stuff free. All we had to do is drive to his house and get it. And free stuff on Craigslist usually goes pretty fast. So we called him immediately. We were able to get it. We got to his house. It's like in the middle of nowhere. Um, he said he was a system administrator for Wendy's. And that's how he got all this stuff. So like, for example, this PC right here. Well, it's not a PC, but this is actually in a server chassis. So you can see it slides into a server. It's a 4U case, I think. Um, this is a video recording machine so on the back of it it's a bit heavy so let's see if i can move it yeah so this is where video cameras are plugged into um the other towers are mostly junk they're mostly like pentium 4 stuff um we need to get a couple of these these are funny these are like super tiny little laptops. <laughs> they actually do turn on both of them. I have two of them there. Um, one of them turns on and it seems to work, but it's password protected. The other one seems to just get into an endless boot cycle loop. Here's like a keypad thing that had like a rusted out USB cable. Um, there's also like a small Asus laptop under there. There's also like a cheap Chinese. This is kind of cool. So there's the Asus laptop. It's not terrible, except it has this person carve their name all over the thing. <laughs> this is like, it looks pretty good. It's a tablet. It's pretty thick. Um, but it's like brushed aluminum and stuff, and it looks great. But it's apparently a piece of garbage, according to the Amazon reviews. So, yeah. Um, this right here, this keyboard, this is actually something I had done separately that day. So before we picked up all this stuff, this keyboard I found on Craigslist, and I asked the lady for the model number of it. She gave me a picture of the back. The model number corresponded to a little Tykes keyboard that actually uses Alps white switches. So I was like, holy crap, this might be a um, mechanical keyboard <laughs> that I could like take apart and stuff. And turns out it's just a regular old membrane keyboard. So... I paid the lady a little bit of money, and I was like, sorry for your troubles, and she's like, yeah, I don't care, I just want to get rid of it, so. Yep, so the highlight of all of this stuff, I think, was actually one of the towers, they're all, they're all pretty much like garbage old towers, like you can see, this one has some super old motherboard with four USB ports and like a LAN card, a dial-up card. Most of them are kind of that, but there is one machine in here that uses... An OCZ, well, you know what, I'll just go ahead and show you guys what it is. Here we are at the money machine. This one, as soon as I opened it up, it looked way different from all the other machines. So instantly I looked for the motherboard number, and you guys can sort of see it under there. Yeah, so it's a Gigabyte Z68 board, so I was like, holy crap, Z68, that's an overclocking chipset for Sandy Bridge. I was like, if this thing is a 2500K... We just got like a $150 CPU motherboard combo for free. Um, turns out it's not Sandy Bridge. Instead, it's an Ivy Bridge i5-3470. So that's still a really good CPU. Um, other highlights include it has a pretty nice semi-modular OCZ 500 watt power supply. Some crappy NVIDIA GT210 graphics card. A couple um, USB uh, PCI slot adapters couple SATA hard dr or, uh, CD drives. So overall, this was... Um, I'm already planning on selling this machine for about $200 as it is. I already have an offer for it. So just like that, I'm going to make 200 bucks. So 
The rest of the machines are pretty bare. Um, maybe I'll do a video on that silver one later. That silver one was one I picked up from. Uh, you know, I'll just go ahead and show you guys. All right, this computer here I actually did not get from the Craigslist free deal. I picked this up from like a local pawn shop kind of thing. It was really cheap and it was really cool, so I just had to get it. Um, first of all, I grabbed it because I saw that this was inside of it. This is an old Radeon. Um, yep, it's an X850 XTP Platinum Edition, I believe. Um, I could be wrong. I don't know. I just picked it up because I thought it looked really cool. And uh, dual slot cards that are this old were pretty uncommon, so... The case itself is, all of it is metal, like this is all brushed aluminum and it looks really good. It's a bit older, but this is a Zalman Wave Master. Yeah. Like you can even tell, this thing's solid metal. Has a little cut out laser cut Zalman logo at the top, and this is really cool. So this thing actually has like a motherboard that you can slide out from the rest of the system. Um, and speaking of the motherboard, there's a whole bunch of crap I threw in there, but the, mo the motherboard is an ABIT IC7 Max 3. You can see there's, um, I don't remember what CPU it has, but the thing's pretty cool. It has like active cooling, which is pretty uncommon on motherboards, especially older ones. Yeah, so I just thought it was really cool, so I grabbed it. All right, moving on to the next thing over here. So this Xbox, we actually got two Xboxes from the free Craigslist guy. And both of them were Red Ring of Death. Um, one of them he said was freezing, but when we powered it on, we had Red Ring of Death. So we Googled the fix for Red Ring of Death, and it turns out it's pretty simple. Um, it's basically just an overheating problem. So you do some trickery with, uh, you take it apart, you take off the um, coolers, you let it overheat, then you reapply new thermal paste, then you put the coolers back on, then you turn it back on, and it just works. So both of the Xboxes we were able to get working again. My One of my friends took the other one, and he's a PC gamer, but he's like, hey, I'll take an Xbox. So now he has a free Xbox. Also, we got a whole bunch of other little computer things. So we got, like, power supplies. We got lots of RAM. We got some, like, thermal compound. We got a whole bunch of... Um, cases and like motherboards and gosh we have like cpu coolers in here yeah the guy had just a bonkers amount of stuff we think we also got one plan i have is this guy right here this is actually a dell laser mouse but i really like the shape so i might be taking this apart and making it into like a franken mouse Otherwise, I didn't really get any cool mice with all this stuff. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I actually recently did some other computer hardware adventuring today. So, uh, maybe we'll make another vlog on that. Uh, please let me know what you guys thought of this video, if it was sucked, or if it was actually kind of entertaining. Let me know, so I know for the future. And once again, thank you guys for watching.